All right, so I've been having this problem for uh, a minute now. So if you got an 08, let's see, 07 Pontiac Torrent or the Equinox that's in that same age range, um, I don't know if this go for the newer models, but uh, yeah, you have something that pops up saying the engine is hot, which it is not. Um, so I thought it was a, um, a temperature sensor problem. So I went and bought a new temperature sensor. Well, after changing that, that didn't work. So after doing some research, I found out that, um, it's a known problem with this, the 08, the 07 generation of Pontiac Torrance and Equinox. It's a, it's like a defect within the, um, the cars i think it's a computer problem so also at the same time you cannot use your uh ac with this too because because i think it's overheat see <laughs> oh wait well let's see Yeah, see it's on, but it's not on. But usually that don't, it won't even do, it just blink like that. But I'm surprised that came on, but it's not on. But um, I figured out a solution for that. And uh, it's not really a fix, it's more of a bypass ref. I'm sorry, bypass reset uh, fix. Now this will pop up again, but you won't have to keep uh doing what I'm finna show you because it is a way to reset this thing and it'll last for probably about three or four days and then it'll, it'll kick up like this again but here's a temporary solution of how to fix that I don't know exactly how yet to permanently fix this because I'm still doing research but here's a temporary reset uh, fix so when I let me be back when I stop driving, which don't record and drive at the same time. All right, focus. Okay, so here's the fix for that. <clears throat> what you need to do is see that it's a toggle switch, and that is a reset switch that I got running from um, that. So what I need to do is click that off for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now flip it back. Nine the meters working. Now before you see it was staying at one position down. And and that is where is that? Obviously, it's not running hot. It's just a, a sensor computer problem within these cars. But here is how I ran mine. And by the way, I forgot to mention a important thing: do not hit that switch while you're driving because if you hit that switch, it will cut the car off. That switch kills everything from uh gas to uh it, it kills all the sensors and um because it thinks it's none it's not working so the car will shut down and please do not hit that switch while you're driving so i recommend putting it in a safe spot you know um maybe somewhere where it's not easy to reach or someone can't accidentally hit the switch me personally because i know that that's why i put it where i put it but I recommend putting it somewhere else other than um, where I put mine at. Put it somewhere safe where you got it's not easy to get to, but easy to get to. Maybe um, uh, I don't want to say glove compartment box. Just somewhere where it's not easy to flip that switch because you don't want to hit that while you're driving. Otherwise, it can be dangerous. Okay, 
So what you need to do is run that to here. And that is the let's see, it's 33. 33 is the ECM well ECM battery or whatever but that resets to all the sensors on the car also if that also helps take care of you having um traction control thing so that pops up on here too another defect but that resets all that so you run that to that you run that to that and running through the car and I just pretty much pop this out drill that out and um, you know put it up there now also that can make as a kill switch too because if you flip that back you can't start the car because none of the sensors work um, I think that controls the fuel pump sensor and all that too so it make a good kill switch but um, I don't really need it so so if you do go that route, hide it somewhere, you know, if you want. Me, I don't care. I mean, good luck getting my shit. But anyway, um, yeah, so hopefully that should be a fix for y'all. Um, also, I forgot to talk about what I did when I wired that up was I broke apart a 15 amp fuse and solder it to uh, that wire, you see. So get that wire off amazon and ebay the wire that it's like a 15 amp gauge wire run it to that you know i mean if you want to do them same steps but at the end of the day you're making a kill not a kill switch a, a reset switch for that so you don't have to fucking keep popping the hood taking that fuse out for a minute you know doing the same thing pop the hood take the fuse out then you gotta wait, put the fuse back in. So pretty much I got tired of doing that. So I wanted to do it from the inside of the car. So if you wanna do that way, it'd probably be better. Like I said, it's, it's not a permanent fix because it will pop up like every few days. That's just a way to pop it off, switch it, hit off for 10 seconds, hit it back and it should work. So all right, just wanna jump on here and show you a little temporary fix for that.